All right, so as you can see, I've already got this melody set up and ready to go. And what I want to do is put some fretboard diagrams along the top of it. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Let's just listen to what the melody sounds like. Okay, so to add a fretboard diagram to your score, what you need to do is anchor it to either a melody note or to a rhythmic slash. And I'm going to show you how to do both. Since I've already got this melody here set up, I'm going to start by anchoring it to the melody note. So I'm going to left click on this melody note and the fretboard diagram is then going to appear above it. And just to say that if you don't have this music notation and you've just got tabs, the principle is the same. Whatever note you select, the fretboard diagram is going to appear above that note. So I'm going to start again by selecting this note, then coming over to the left hand sidebar and finding fretboard diagrams. And then we have a selection of templates that we can choose from. Don't worry if the chord that you're looking for is not in this selection. We're going to choose any chord and just edit it to be look the way we want it to look. As it happens, the A major chord, the one I'm looking for, is here, but I'm not going to choose that. I'm rather going to choose the C so I can show you how to edit your own chords. Okay, so when I click on that, the chord diagram appears above the melody note, as you can see. Okay, so now it's time to edit this because I don't want a C major chord, I want an A major chord. So with this fretboard diagram highlighted, I'm going to come over to Properties, and this is the editing pane over here. If I left click on any uh, dot, it disappears. And if I left click on an, uh, an O, it turns it into an X, left click again, disappears. Left click on an X, disappears. Okay, so now we have a blank canvas uh, with which to work. So I'm going to just put the dots uh, that you would find in a regular open A major chord. So that's correct. And I want to open string here, open string here, and a closed string over here. All right, so now we have the A major chord diagram. And what we want to do next is just change this uh, chord symbol, backspace, and type in A, and now we have the correct chord. So now that we have the correct chord and chord symbol, what I want to do is make this slightly bigger and also move it a little bit further away from the stave. So to do that, again, I'm going to left click on the chord diagram and I'm going to come over to where it says settings. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of editable elements here. Uh, we have the scale, in other words, the size, the number of strings, six. So because we guitar players, we have six strings. But if you were a bass player, you could reduce that number to four. The visible frets, we have four visible frets at the moment. I can reduce that to three, for example, but I'm going to just keep it um, at four for now. And then the fret number is the number fret that the chord diagram is actually starting um, from. We're starting from the first fret, so I'm going to leave that as it is. And then you have the option to either show the nut or not. I'm going to keep that checked. Okay, so then I'm going to come up to where it says scale, in other words, size. And I'm going to make that um, 180%. And that looks about right in proportion to the rest of the score. Now, I've changed the size of the fretboard diagram. I'm just going to then left click on the chord symbol. And as you can see, it's 10 point at the moment. I'm going to just increase that to 12 point and that looks a little bit more consistent with the with the whole diagram. All right, so now we have the correct chord diagram and the correct uh, course chord symbol and it's the right size, but I want it to be further away from the uh, from the stave. So how would I do that? Once again, left click on the uh, fretboard diagram and then come over to the left hand sidebar where it says appearance, click there. And then what we're looking for is minimum distance. You see Right now, the spacing is 0.5. That is the spacing between the fretboard diagram and the stave. So if I increase that, you can see how it begins to move further and further away. Okay, I'm just going to return it to where it was, 0.5. Now, another option um, to get the position of the fretboard diagram where you want it to be is just to left click on it and then drag it to where you want it to be. To me, that's a much uh, simpler way to do it. Okay, so that's how you would um, anchor a fretboard diagram to an existing melody. But what if you don't have a melody and you don't want a melody? Say you just want some open bars and some fretboard diagrams along the top of it. What you would do then is you would uh, just fill the stave, the bar, with rhythmic slashes. Again, if you don't have this music notation, it's not a problem. You just want tab, 
the principle is going to be the same. So I'm just going to click on the bar that I want to fill with rhythmic slashes and then come up to where uh, it says tools and then fill with slashes. Now you can see how it's added four rhythmic slashes to the bar. And the principle then is the same as before. What you would do is click on a rhythmic slash, come over to the le left hand sidebar where it says fret fretboard diagrams and then click on the chord that you want. Okay, so let's go back to the melody again. All right, so we've done the first chord. Now, what if we want to add a second chord to the second bar? We could go through the same steps again, i.e. click on the melody, come over to fretboard diagrams and include the chord and then edit it, etc. Go through the same steps as before. But a much uh, more streamlined way to do it is just to copy and paste uh, the fretboard diagram that we've already done. Because we've taken the time already to edit the size of it and the position of it and also the size of the um, chord symbol. So I'm just going to left click on that so that it's highlighted, control C or command C if you're on a Mac, and then click on the melody note I want to anchor it to, control V or command V, and then just drag it to wherever you want it to be. And then we're gonna edit this chord again. So I'm gonna come over to properties and let's say I want this to be an E major. And that looks right. I'm just gonna change this to an E. And there we have our E major chord. So let's listen to what our score sounds like so far. And as you can hear, it's added these chords to the overall sound. All right, so let's move on and add the third chord to the third bar here. Again, I'm gonna click on the note that I want to anchor it to, Control V to paste it. And let's edit this chord to be a B minor. So you can either do the traditional uh, B minor bar chord like this, okay? Or a new feature in um, MuseScore is that you have the option um, to check this bar box here. And wherever you click on, on the uh, fretboard diagram, it's gonna put a bar right down to the, uh, to the first string. So I'm gonna, if I, for, for example, click on the sixth string, it's gonna put a bar right through. Click on the, um, third string and there we have a half bar right so I want the bar chord to be from the fifth string all the way down so that's the way I would do it and I think that looks quite nice so I'm going to leave it like that um, I'm going to uncheck that bar box there edit that to say B minor and there we've got our B minor added okay so let's move on and add the fourth chord to the fourth bar control V and then let's edit this uh, chord to be a D just a regular open D chord, turn that into an X, open string there, and change the chord symbol to a D. So you can see how the process of adding fretboard diagrams to your score is quite straightforward and quick once you start getting the hang of it. Okay, so let's move on and add our final chord to the last bar, Control V, and I'm gonna make this an A bar chord starting on the uh, fifth fret. So how would I do that? Well. What I'm going to do is do a regular bar chord as before. Check that bar box, put a bar right through all of the strings. Uncheck the box just to edit again with dots. Take that one off, that one off, add that one, add that one. And there we have our E-shaped bar chord. And we want to be clear now that it's starting from the fifth fret, right? So we want a number five to appear on this first fret here. So how do we do that? Well, this time we come over to settings and we have another look again at where it says fret number and we want that to be the fifth fret. Now it's clear that you need to start the bar chord from the fifth fret. So that looks okay, but I would like this uh, five to rather be on the right hand side. I'm not, I would like it to be preferably be a bit smaller. So to do that this time, we're not gonna use the properties um, pane over here. What we're gonna instead do is go to format, style, and then come all the way down to fretboard diagrams here. Okay, so have a look here where it says fret number position. We're gonna check right instead of left, so that's gonna put it on the right-hand side of the fretboard diagram. Fret number font size is 170 at this moment. So we're gonna reduce that to 130, and let's see how that looks. Okay, so that's shifted the fret number to the right-hand side and it's made it smaller 
and that looks pretty cool to me. All right, so the fretboard diagram is looking good, but as you can see, what's happened now is it's shifted uh, this chord symbol slightly further to the right because it's centering it relative to this whole fretboard diagram, including the number on the right. So what I'm gonna do is move that further to the left again. I'm gonna left click on that so that it's highlighted. Then I'm gonna come over to appearance and I'm gonna look for this horizontal offset here. I'm gonna just click the down arrow, see what that does. Okay, so that's better. Click it one more time. And let's say that looks pretty close to center. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, so now I have all my fretboard diagrams added to the score. Let's have a listen to what it sounds like. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty easy to add fretboard diagrams to your score. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. So I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.